All right, let's go over how to use this new Node CG based overlay software. Um, so in the link that I provided, um, video description, you get this uh, seven zip file. So if you extract that, you'll get a folder called Node CG. Node CG is a framework which is used in a lot of streaming platforms. Games Done Quick does it. It's great. So inside you're gonna have everything that is important. Um, so on Windows, there's this file uh, runnode.bat and there's another one called one runnode.shell. Um, if you're on Mac, that should work. But if you run node.bat, you'll get this. And from here, you can see no CG running on localhost 9090. So if you were to go to localhost 9090, you'll get a dashboard. So this is the control dashboard for everything to do with this. Um, click on buttons, it'll change values. Now you're not actually changing uh, files in the same sense of putting numbers places, what you're doing is changing the display of an HTML file, basically a web page. So what we're going to do is go to graphics and from there, uh, left scoreboard. So copy that URL. You're going to move into <laughs> OBS or whatever software you're using. Click add uh, browser left store board from here you're going to paste that in and you're going to make it 1920 by 1080 so that it takes up the whole screen and there is where it's going to appear so we're going to do that with the rest browser right Scoreboard, copy that URL, nineteen twenty by ten eighty. There's the right scoreboard. Uh, eventually, this will probably all be in one scoreboard, one HTML file, so that it's easier to do scene transitions. So player names. Browser, player names, 1920, They don't show up because they're not inputted yet. And the final one, the overall scoreboard. Uh, where'd that go? There we go. Browser, overall score. Board. And there we go in the corner. Now, um, you see it's popping up and it just displays on top of everything. So if we were go to back to our workspace, here's where we can now control things. So this board you see here you can rearrange if you want left and right right and left move those over here and whatever you can rearrange things as you can over here we have player names so we have will uh and yeah let's go mark davis Urban Axes Philly and Vettel Stockyards. Sure. So, a plan for the future will be having these just as a drop down menu as well. So, you don't have to remember, you can just select it. Also, uh, flags. Not country flags, because two countries, it'd be boring. But I was thinking of doing state and provincial flags, and those would appear next to your name. 
But if we press update, now they appear on the screen. So let's get into an actual game. Left scores, it is just clicking what button you want. So all these, all you gotta do is click it. Down here, it shows you what you have pressed. So if you make a mistake, you can see that and fix it. As you go through, if you make a mistake on a previous one, just go back, click it, it'll modify it. Uh, right now the clutch call button does nothing. What it's going to do is give you an indicator that clutch was called, but the clutch will work as well. It'll show a seven. All right, so that's fine. You don't have to do anything for that. If it goes to, uh, well, first, say Mark loses. When you, when you are done a round, you click this lock round button. When you press this, it will lock the round in and you can't change it anymore. So be sure that your scores are correct before you press this. When you press this, it'll update the lower half so that the winner is shown, the scores are shown, and the total number of rounds one is shown. And you can also see that over here. So this is a nice dashboard that shows you everything that will be going on with the game as it, show, as it shows up on the screen. So you, you barely have to look at it. And what this will also do is it will automatically switch the sides of the players. We can see now Will is on the right and Mark is on the left. So if we play another one, they go 25 and we go to Big X. So we have our left and right big axe. What this will do is when you press the button, it will show you what you have selected, but it will not add it to the totals or to the display until you press lock throw. So make sure that you are correct before you press it in. So if you then select lock throw, it shows up here underneath and adds to the total. Same with the right lock throw there it is and then we can go back and forth back and forth now this will show you the last three big axe throws when you start going more than three it will if we look here let's say mark drops it will push the previous one off the side so this will always be the last three and will misses Mark hits, will drops, and then we lock the round. Mark is one, we can see down here, all good. Now, if you ever want to reset, these buttons here will reset each score side. And then when you are done with a match, this button here, reset on overall games, will reset the entire board. So you click that, everything goes back to a blank slate. Uh, it leaves in who was the previous player, just in case you just need to reset it. But then you can change it again and go, uh, Julio against Bishop. Battle on Detroit X. Update, boom. Next game is ready. Um, some things on modification side. So this is completely open. All the source code is there. You can mess with it if you want. I advise against it if you don't know what you're doing, but um, here is in this folder, under bundles, you'll see X throwing streaming. This is getting more into how Node CG works in itself, but in essence, we have our dashboard, which controls uh, this that you see. And we have our graphics, which controls the overlay portions. Now, the easiest modifications you guys can do is on the graphics portions. So if you just open up a CSS folder file, uh, 
this is where the that is controlled. So we can see our scoreboard and our big ass scoreboard, our positioning, um, the coloring, all that. This is all controlled from the CSS. So if you wanted to move it down or make it larger, this is where you would do it. And once you have done that, you will need to go back to your dashboard. Let's say I make a change and uh, now this is, instead of being at the top, I want it at, I don't know, the middle, like that, okay? To have that change take effect, you're gonna go back to graphics and whatever one you modified, which I think was left scoreboard, you're going to reload. Top 500. Yeah, whatever. I missed that up. Oh, I'm in the wrong one. That's why. But this is this is where you would modify something. So I want uh, no CG bundles. Oh, yeah. So that's a basic overview. Um, this will work for anything else, any streaming you need from a very base perspective. Um, there will be lots of changes coming. Um, this will look nicer. There will be actual graphics, not this, for you to use um, transitional scenes, whatever. I, it can be it can be made. So, um, tell me if anything is busted. Find bugs, please and uh, report back to me. Just let me know how it works.